David, from our experience is this is parallel, not, not linear. So uh, what we've found is that where we've had technologies, and this is the beauty of, of in, 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 uh, inclusive innovation, if, if the innovation is, is truly better than what we, what we have and available for less resources and can be, and can be for more people, then it simultaneously um, can be introduced into the developed world and the developing world at the same time. And we found that that's been um, a marvellous model uh, for some of our projects. So, for example, our recent meeting, um, we had all of our GRA representatives in Sydney and they were looking at some of the wireless technology that's been added to the $30 billion network being rolled out in Australia for, uh, for most of Australia. Um, and while they were looking at this going, gee, that's great, we could, we could partner with some of that, one of the researchers said, oh, and by the way, we've got a little side project that we're doing with GRA to bring this you know, into with Fraunhofer into Zambia, et cetera. And it was that parallelism that, that um, was, was truly inspiring. And we found it's also inspiring for our project teams. So whilst they're kind of paid to do the, 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 the work in the developed world, they're actually really motivated to add on their own discretionary time. So in terms of... I